Ciao fellow Vita comrades and welcome! Custom teams were gone and now they're back, almost all of them. And today we're looking at the current situation, what works, what doesn't. We're checking out some alternatives too and also how to create your own team. So let's get cracking! First quick recap for anybody who doesn't know. At 20th of January 2023, a series of unfortunate events have led to the definitive closure of online repository for all custom themes stored in there by Red Squirrel. A few days later, Soul Eater created a new website to submit and download PS Vita themes called psvitathemes.univer.se. And then, like a day later, new information resurfaced that there is an older custom theme app available for Vita called Tima. Now we are at the present time, and since yesterday, the definitive closure wasn't so definitive after all, and Custom Teams Manager and its online database is again up and mostly fully running. And what does it mean exactly? It means we are almost at the point where we started. We lost like 13 teams, but in the meantime many more have been created and uploaded, so I would say now we are much better off. So now online database for Custom Teams Manager is working again. I said mostly, because as I've been checking it out, there are still some errors popping up here and there. And mostly what I needed to do was uh, just to wait around for a bit and then it was working fine. So don't be surprised when you see some errors. I've experienced some hard reboots as well. When I downloaded few themes in a row, then I wanted to apply one and boom, reboot. Fuck Not man. sure what went wrong, but after reboot I could have applied the theme just fine. Here is a quick list of what is still not working. You cannot submit new themes, well you can but not the normal way. Check the article to find out more, link is down below. And you also cannot search by author or tag. Now to the alternatives. First and foremost there are plenty themes available at the official PS Store or PKGJ, don't forget about those ones. You can find there some very neat ones like Shovel Knight, Tearaway, Uncharted, Vita 20th Anniversary and much much more. Just press triangle when you are in PKGJ and go into themes category and you can see them all nicely lined up in there. Then I've been also checking the second older app called Tema, Tima. It also works relatively good. You can download and install live area and even Vita shell themes directly from your Vita. The interface is pretty bare bones, but you don't really need much. It automatically redirects you to their website via the built-in web browser. It is slower, but it works as intended. I also experienced some errors here and there, so don't expect miracles. Only miracles you're gonna get is from PS Store or PKGJ, but of course there are only limited possibilities, whereas here, sky is the limit. Also guys, if you are enjoying these videos, like and subscribe, because there is certainly more to come. Also, don't forget you can install custom themes manually. You would need this option if you want to use the new website. You're gonna download the theme on your PC or mobile. Then extract it and put it into custom themes folder on your UX0. Then you'll go to your custom themes manager app on your PS Vita and choose install a custom theme from the local folder. Install it, apply it and job done. Now how to create your own custom PS Vita theme. The easiest and the most accessible way is to use this program on your PC called PSV Theme Maker. Basically all you need to do is to get all the pictures you want to use, get the background music, then drag and drop into the program. It will automatically resize the images and convert the audio to desired format. Once the process is finished, you're just gonna use Custom Themes Manager app on your Vita again to install custom themes from local folder. And this way you can easily have your own theme on your own PS Vita. Or you can also easily change the background music in your favorite custom theme. Simply convert the desired MP3 into the 89 format. So convert it, call it BGM and replace it with the BGM you don't want. You can do this also for official themes. I think you need to call it the same title as it has in official theme. And you're gonna find it out by going into UX0 slash themes. Then go to the one you wanna change and check what it is called. Once you have created some nice theme, don't forget to upload it to all of the aforementioned sites. Links for all of them are of course down below. Cause it is smart to have backup in case anything like this happens in the future. Which we wanna prevent, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, but it's always good to be prepared and have backups. Red Squirrel made a fundraiser to cover annual costs of web hosting, check it out if you wanna contribute. Which also reminds me to give shout out to our new channel member, Daniel David. It's great to have you on board, thanks for your support brother. He has chosen the highest tier, Ultimate Vita Zelot, where he can even choose the topic for upcoming video. If you are watching, go to the community post section where we can discuss it or just send me a private DM anywhere on the socials. 
Clearly, we gotta stick to community guidelines, but there is a lot of options. Thanks to you for watching, thanks to developers for hard work, thanks to members for support, like, subscribe if you are enjoying this content, join if you can afford it, and see you in the upcoming one. Peace out.